We get 24 hours each day, and most cats, they spend about half of that time in dreamland. And while felines are known for their brief cat naps, totally relaxed yet ready to pounce in a second, cats are also known to saw that log, as they say, deep in the sleep. So that begs the question, is it okay to wake a sleeping cat, your sleeping cat? In this material, I'll answer that question, provide some much-needed context as to the pros and the cons, and also offer up a few suggestions as to how you can wake your cat without causing them unnecessary emotional distress. Stay tuned. The decision to wake your sleeping cat can be a tough one. And right out of the gate, let me say, generally speaking, it's just not wise to wake a cat, especially a senior cat. For as much as felines sleep, and for as much as it likely seems a bit strange and a bit too much for us at times, cats do need their sleep, and there's just no reason at all to wake a cat for your own pleasure. Waking them up just for the sake of waking them up, that's just not necessary, and frankly, it's just not respectful. However, as I stated in the intro, context is key. There are times where you simply have to nudge your cat and get them up and about and moving. Is it meal time, perhaps a routine meal time specifically? Does your cat need medicine? Is something happening in your home where your cat needs to wake up, get up, and perhaps move to another area of the home? Is there a storm coming? Sometimes the threat of a tornado can send everyone, pets included, to the designated shelter area. These examples certainly qualify as times where waking up your cat is indeed necessary. As an owner, not only is it important to understand the do's and the don'ts, the when and the where type scenarios, but also it's essential to understand the how. This is especially true where waking your cat is the only option, and it just has to be done. If your cat is completely motionless and in a very deep sleep, it becomes imperative to be as quiet and as gentle as possible. The very last thing you want to do is to startle your cat causing them to panic and become afraid. In this case, gently approach your cat as quietly as possible and, with your hand slightly, just lightly, touch the top of your cat's head and stroke of the ears, perhaps. Nothing drastic, just a very slight touch. While acting on this slight touch, gently whisper. Allow your cat to hear your familiar voice, but deliver it as pleasant as possible. If your cat starts to stir a bit at this point, They'll be greeted with a gentle touch and a soft, familiar voice. In addition to touch and voice, bring some cat treats and some snacks right on over, just two or three, and place them near your cat. Opening those eyes to a snack is just another way to soften the blow of being awakened in a premature fashion once again. This is especially true if your cat is of senior status and possibly in poor health. The final positive waking tip that I'll offer up is to be the one to do this. You do it. You or another responsible adult. Never give this task to a child. Sure, they can wake the cat up, but just waking the cat up certainly is not the goal here. There's a right and a wrong way to do this, and a responsible party needs to take this wheel. Returning to the core topic question, it's important to be respectful of your cat's sleep time so many times, and I think we've all been guilty of this at one point. We can fall into the mental trap of treating a pet almost like a toy. Like the cat is just here for our pleasure, and as long as you know we're ready to engage and have engagement, then we should just engage with our pet whenever we feel like it. Kids do this a lot, but it's often hard to blame them. Adults, it's important to remove yourself from that trap and from that mindset. View your cat as you'd view yourself. You wouldn't want someone waking you up in the middle of the night and just messing with you for the sake of messing with you, right? Waking a cat up just to pet it. This would be like somebody waking you up in the middle of the night just to shake your hand. Weird, right? When you make the human comparisons, it becomes that much easier to truly recognize the situation, the proper response, and the general importance of your cat's sleep. Every video, I always turn things over to the audience because I truly value your thoughts and opinions. For this topic, I'd really love to know where you stand on this subject. Do you find waking your cat to be an easy task? Have you ever had a bad experience, especially in those early days of ownership? Do you have a cat that, for whatever reason, they need to be awake at certain hours? Special diet, medication? Have you worked out a routine where your cat, with a sound internal clock, 
just knows that they need to be awake at a specific time? And what about the children? Do you trust your children to be responsible enough to wake your cat in a respectful way? Are your kids good with a family cat? Or can things get a bit rowdy at times? If you do have a story to share, additional positive suggestions regarding this topic, or simply what you've learned about your feline's sleep pattern, anything and everything in the comments section, it's all yours. And if you enjoyed this content, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. And until next time, thank you so very much for watching, and I will talk to you later. And just like that, I'm back. <laughs> a bit of a post-video summary, if you will. Before I head out, I'd like to provide a quick overview of the steps and techniques that I mentioned in this video. Quiet and gentle movements. This is all about your approach, your voice, your footsteps. Try to be as quiet as possible. If you're too loud, your cat will likely pop up and that heart will start racing. This is obviously the very last thing you want if your cat is of senior status or in poor health. The next tip, soft touch and soft voice. Once you're on the scene, you can attempt to wake your cat, whisper, light touch of the ears and the head. This is meant to wake your cat, but it's primarily meant to make the process as gradual as possible. Allow your cat to come around a bit. And those snack treats, this is very important. Once your cat's eyes begin to open, they'll want to know that something positive awaits. They'll immediately look for a reason to be awake, considering that none of this was of their own making. Snack treats, just another way to ease your cat awake. And finally, act with responsible intent. If your cat needs to wake up for something important, do it with respect and avoid making a scene. Unless you have a great trust in your children, Give this assignment to an adult in the home. And with that said, I'm out for good this time. <laughs> Everybody take care, and I'll talk to you later.